Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. Rich here on this Thursday morning. It is D-Day, June 6th, the 75th anniversary of the one of the biggest days in history, of course, the invasion in Normandy. Uh, you and I have a lot to talk about this morning as we get ready for a significant rainfall event, one that could deliver several inches of rain over the next few days. And what a radical change, right? From this hot, dry, parched pattern. Yesterday, the Montgomery Airport had one one hundredth of an inch of rain. That's the first rain in 24 days. And of course, there's going to be a lot more rain on top of that. We'll talk about the threat of urban flooding. I'll show you how much rain could fall and how long the rain will last. Without any further ado this morning, let's get into the details. I am glad you're here. Classic setup with uh, low pressure at the surface and aloft out to the west of us from Houston all the way into Oklahoma. We're on the wet side of it. Copious amounts of rainfall across the Gulf states in several areas coming in waves today, tonight, and uh, for the next few days. A lot of us could see, uh, you know, maybe more than an inch just in the first 24 hours. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center says an enhanced risk of severe weather over portions of uh, Texas Gulf Coast and even a level two risk in portions of Mississippi and extreme southwest Alabama today. Marginal risk covering much of the western counties. You know, I don't expect a severe weather threat to be uh, prevalent over the weekend, but mainly just tropical downpours and maybe some urban flooding at times. Showers and thunderstorms today, high around 82, tonight's low 71. At least the temperatures are down. You see that uh, what looks like a tropical low? It's not really, but uh, south of Memphis, we're going to be on the wet side of it for the next couple of days. And so we're going to see the, those extremely heavy tropical downpours at times. There it is Saturday. It looks like it hadn't even moved. Then on Sunday, it lumbers into, you know, North Alabama with the threat of uh, more heavy downpours continuing. And even Monday, it still migrates south to around the Dothan area. And it will be re reluctant to leave the state. 1 p.m. on Tuesday, it's on the uh, Alabama-Georgia border near Rome, Georgia. But we'll start to dry out later in the day Tuesday and eventually some nicer weather coming in. Uh, we'll be done with the rain by then with a uh, very high rain chance Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And then we'll start to taper the rain chances down a little bit on Tuesday. High temperatures in the 80s, lows at night around 70 for the next few days. And how much rain? Well, you know, over the next several days, uh, the numbers speak for themselves. You see them five, six inches. Uh, you look in some places uh, seven inches over the southeastern U.S., some places eight inches. South of the coast, eight to ten inches. I see one uh, number, uh, 12 inches near Apalachicola, something like that. The beach forecast is obviously not good. Um, you know, there's nothing nice I can say about it at all for the next few days. High temperatures in the low to mid 80s. Gulf water temperature 84. It never rains in the restaurant. I hope you have our weather app on your phone or tablet. We're very proud of it. It's a, it's a very good weather app. Plus, you get access to these videos, advanced interactive radar. You can see where the rain is now, where it's going to be, where the lightning is, all kinds of great stuff. Uh, so get it on your phone or tablet if you don't already have it. Go to the App Store. Search Rich Thomas Weather and thanks. Uh, live on the radio this morning, 6 to 9, News Talk 93.1. Ryan Stinnett and I will be talking weather on CBS 8 and ABC 32. We have a ton to talk about. Uh, that will be at 5.50 a.m. Starting to rain at this location. I feel it. Uh, and uh, also there will be another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. Stay weather aware. I'll keep you up to date, okay? I'll see you later.